Hey guys, I just thought we improve our app's user interface before we continue to do anything else. So in this video, we are going to just improve, make some improvements just a little bit. We are going to use native based components to help us do that. So the first thing we want to do is to create a header for our app with a logo and also make the status bar color white and the next thing we want to do is to add a footer so this will basically act as our tab bar so we'll have some icons there so let's start what we want to do is to sort of follow native this anatomy which states that we should have a header component at the top here and a footer component at the bottom but uh, we're going to create our header component outside because we want it to be common across all the routes we're going to have here. So for now, we only have the home route, but later on, we're going to have our track, uh, track taxi driver route uh, and anything else we might want to add. So to start, I'm going to create a common components folder outside here, and I'm going to call it components. So this folder will hold all the, combo, the the common components that we have. So I'm going to create another folder called header component. So this will basically be another stateless component. Just going to create an index.js. So I'll import react from react and I'm also going to import our header from native base. Now the next thing you want to do is to create the component. So I'm just going to export const and the component goes to our R function. And I'm just going to return They had a component. And for now, I'm just going to give it a style the back ground color. Just going to give it an orange background color. Okay, save this. Let me just export it also. Export default header component. So that's how you create a stateless component, guys. So the next thing we want to do is import this component so we can use it in our home route. To do that, just gonna copy what we have here change this to header component okay how many levels one two three and components one, two three And I'm going to use it down here. Close this and save. Okay, looks like I didn't import it correctly. Okay, it's okay. So now you can see we gave our head a component in orange background color, but it's not showing here. Why? This is because inside our scenes. 
this thing comes with with its own nav bar so what you want to do is just say hide nav bar here and save go back here now you see we have an orange color down there so our header component has been created so the next thing we want to do is to put our logo there and also make this color light okay to do that we go inside our header component i'm just gonna say ios bar style is equal to light content now if you're on if you're on android you have to use this android status bar color then you change it you can check uh, native based documentation for this so i just gave it a light content i save this and our status bar is now white so let's make our head component more interesting instead of making this a self-closing component i'm just gonna close it down here so we can add some more stuff inside so we want to import this component called left from native base and i also want to import body and i also want to import right so on the left i'm just gonna put an icon just a dummy menu icon we are not going to use it anyway left and in order for me to use those icons i'm going to need to import icon from react native vector icons and i'm going to use font also okay so i'm just gonna have a button down here which i'm gonna make transparent let's just close it down here then the next thing we need to do is to put our icon inside so the name of the icon we want to use is bars for the menu and the style I'm just gonna create some styles for this style I'm just gonna call this styles and I'll call this my menu I'll create this close and I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing for the right side of our header so I'm gonna have a button but this time instead of a uh, of bars I'm just gonna have gift and I'm gonna call this gift and in the middle here I'm going to have a body so inside this body you can put an image or text so you can put your logo here for now I'm just gonna put a text I'm just gonna call it taxi now we need to create our styles to do that I'm just gonna create another file here called header component styles.js so I'm just gonna import our style sheet from react native 
Oh shit. Let me just create quick styles from React Native. I'm just going to say const styles goes to all style sheet dot create and I need to export my styles export default styles okay so we have our menu I'm just gonna give it a color of white and the font size of 20 and then we have our gift I think we have we, we just use this uh, instead of of give of doing multiple styles which do exactly the same thing I'm just gonna call this icon and for the text I'll just call it head text if you want to use text and I'll also give it a color of white maybe font size of 14 font size 14 okay so about that so come back here gonna give this a style equals to styles dot add a text this one will be just styles dot icon in the same year save so the next thing we want to do is we we need to import our styles do that I'm just gonna import styles from let me just copy this name okay save this We have an unexpected token in here. The component on line 16. Oh, uh, I put double braces here. It's supposed to be one. And I also need to import text from React Native. Okay, save that. And we also need to import button save and we have our menu there and our you see our our gift is going on the left because we forgot to change this to right we already imported right here so I'm just going to copy and paste this save and it looks nice but now we need to add a logo instead of using text here so let's add an image for our logo what we're going to do is uh, I've already created a logo so I'm just gonna create a folder inside my source and I'm gonna call it assets And inside this assets folder, I'll create another folder called IMG for images. And because I've already created 
a logo image I'm just gonna copy it and paste it inside my assets folder okay so the next thing I want to do is just to create some styles for this logo so for the logo I'm just gonna give it a width of 50 and a height of 50 also the next thing I'm, I want to do is I'm going to import the the image inside my main component you can import it inside your stateless component also it's up to you but for me I'm just gonna create a constant here I'm just gonna call it taxi logo I'm gonna use require So it's one, two, three, one, two, it's three items outside. Then we go inside assets. AMG. What's the name? Taxi logo white. Taxi logo white dot png okay now we have our taxi logo so the next thing you want to do is just pass it as props to our header component so our header components needs a logo and i'm just gonna pass this sorry i'm just gonna pass this taxi logo inside our component I'll pass it through here then now I need instead of using text I need to use an image to import it from react native so I'm going to say image and I'm going to give it a resize mod of contain I want it to contain then I'm gonna give it a style which is styles dot logo then I need the image itself inside my source and I'm just gonna pass this logo okay I need to close this Oh, no error so everything worked we have our image there we have our logo so the next thing you want to do we just need to push this search box up a bit so inside our search box component I'm just gonna put this to zero save for the footer we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did for the header so what we need to do is create a general component also called footer inside our components folder so I'm just gonna create a new folder called footer component okay and inside this folder I'll create index.js And I'll also create a new file called footer component styles.js. Okay, so now let's create our component. To make things easy for me, I'm just going to copy what I have here and paste it. 
So what we need for our footer basically is the footer tab and the button. We don't need all of this. Footer tab. And we don't need an image. I'm just going to remove this. We need text. We need icons. We need styles. And I'm taking my styles from footer component. Just gonna copy this the component styles. Spot this. And then I'll have my footer tab here. Give it a style of Styles dot footer container. Then I'm going to remove all of this. I'm just going to have a button inside here. Sorry, this will be my footer tables. Then I'm going to place a button inside this button. I'm going to have an icon, a text, uh, two text elements. So the icon will be at the top. So I'm going to have an icon with the size of probably. 20 will be okay and then uh what else do i need i'll need of having multiple buttons here right i think i should just create an object let me just create an object up here So these are my tab bar items. I'm just gonna call it const tabs. Now we're not really going to to use this. I'm just gonna create some dummy stuff. So I'll have a title. This is taxi car. And we have a subtitle. This could be anything. Now I have my icon. So I'm gonna take my icons again from Font Awesome and this icon just call I'll just use the car icon. So maybe this is just normal taxi. And maybe you want pool, taxi pool or taxi share, whatever you wanna call it. We have taxi premium. This could be taxi, whatever, or bike. Taxi, bike, whatever. Save. So, since we have created our object, we need to map through it. To map through this array. So, to do that, I'm just gonna come down here. Open this. So I want to map through tabs. I'm just gonna do tabs map. Object and its index. This will be an arrow function. And inside G I'm just gonna return. So what are we going to retain inside here? We're going to retain the button that we have down there. So instead, instead of putting a lot of buttons in here, we just put one. So if you're looping, you need to give a key. Otherwise, you will get an error. I'm gonna give this a key of index. K. 
okay so the name I'm gonna have now is gonna be object dot icon this will be the icon and the next thing we need is a text so for the text I'm going to use text I'm just gonna give it a style but uh, since I need to make these tiles depend on the index like to show which one is selected and which one is not selected I'm just gonna put all my styling here for this text I'm just gonna give it a font size to make things simple font size of 12 and the color will depend on the index if my index is on zero then my color will be orange okay. if the index is not zero then my color will be a gray color just gonna say e, e okay so the text that we have inside this text element will be our object dot title and I'm also going to have a subtext so this subtext I'm just gonna give it a style is gonna say styles dot subtext and then the title is the subtitle so now we need to go inside inside our footer component styles and just add the styles so again, I'm just going to copy what I have here and paste it here. So I have footer container which will give a background color of white. And I have my subtext, the font size of 8. And that's it. I'm going to save this. Remove this stuff down here. now we need to import our styles component inside the home route just like we did for the header so i'm just going to copy this paste call this footer and i'm just going to paste it down here save let's see unable to resolve module footer oh sorry footer component oh I made a mistake here this is the condition like this save did I miss anything let's check to component defined save and 
okay so we have this thing showing up for our footer component but it's not supposed to be like this we're going to wrap it inside the footer so to do that we're just going to wrap this inside the footer Save. we have our icons showing up here but we have one problem our all our icons are black so we need to just give an impression that we are on the on this route for our home page which is the taxi car so i'm just gonna say icon color i'm just gonna do the same thing I'm going to save this. Being an error here, it says a uh, invalid prop style of tab number supplied to styles for the tab expected an object. So this is this is because sometimes you are using native base elements, you don't really need to give this style sheet, to use this style sheet we just need to create an object so I'm just going to delete this and just supply a normal object save and refresh and we don't have that error anymore I'm just going to dismiss this debug message and we have our app home screen thank you again for watching guys I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.